Hi guys, this is Assignment Experts channel and today we have a question from one of our subscribers. So here's the problem. We have a cube with equal sides, they are 0.4 meters inside of the elevator. The cube weighs 80 kilos and the elevator moves up and down repeatedly. Uh, the elevator can reach speeds 5 meters per second in 4 seconds when the elevator goes up, while it also can reach 8 meters per second in 2 seconds when it goes down. Our task here is to find the, the pressure experienced by the elevator and caused by this cube when the elevator moves up, down, and when it moves in any direction with a constant speed 1 meter per second. And to start with this task, let's recall that pressure P equals N over A, where N is a normal force, and normal force is a counterforce to the force of gravity. So if the force of gravity is here, and it is equal to Mg, then the normal force is over here. And A is a surface area, which is the area of an object that makes this force of gravity on the surface. So, in our case, we have cube with equal sides. Therefore, the surface area in this case will be d squared and normal force. So, here is the formula we will use. Now, let's proceed with the first case. So first, let's consider the case when the elevator goes down. This means that the acceleration is directed downwards. Therefore, we can consider this direction as a positive direction. So we will consider all the forces here and the general force Ma will be equal to Mg that will be positive because it goes to the positive direction plus the normal force. And the normal force goes upwards, and this is the negative direction, so we get minus m. From here, we can derive the normal force, and it is equal to m times g minus a. And now we can put this into our pressure formula to obtain m times g minus a over d squared, which gives us 80 times 9.8, which is a free fall acceleration, minus the acceleration when the elevator goes down. And we have the speed, 8 meters per second, and the acceleration will be uh, this speed divided by the time needed to reach this speed, which is 2 seconds. So acceleration is 8 over 2. And in the denominator we have the length of a side squared, so 0 0.4 squared. And this is equal to 2900 pascals. the pressure experienced by the elevator when it goes down. And now we have the second case. This time the elevator goes up. So the acceleration is directed upwards this time, therefore this is the positive direction. And as previously we will consider the forces. Ma is positive, so is the normal force. But the force of gravity Mg is now negative. Therefore, n from here equals m times g plus a. We put this into the pressure formula and we get m times g plus a over d squared. This gives us 80 times 9.8 plus the acceleration for the upward, uh, upward movement, which is 5 over 4.
divided by 0 0.4 squared. And we get uh, 5525 pascals. Here is the pressure experienced by the elevator when it goes up. Finally, our last case. This time, the elevator moves with a certain speed 1 meter per second in any direction. This means that there is no acceleration. Acceleration is equal to zero. Therefore, our force MA also equals zero. But at the same time, it is still equal to the sum of these two forces, N plus MG. But here, we can take any direction as positive. Let's, for example, take the upward direction as positive. So the normal force is positive and the force of gravity is negative. At the end, we get that the normal force is equal to the force of gravity. And therefore, our pressure equals mg over d squared. And this is 80 times 9.8 over 0 0.4 squared, which gives us 4,900 pascals. So today we found three pressures experienced by the elevator. The pressure when it moves up and down with a certain acceleration and the pressure when we have a constant speed 1 meter per second in any direction. Thanks for watching us guys and please send us more questions so we will answer them in our videos. Goodbye.